Today we're going to ask Google AI Studio to teach us how to do color correction uh, in DaVinci Resolve. This, uh, this is a tool that is still in the experimental phase, so we might end up uh, seeing some bugs, but we're going to try to do some color correction of a clip. We're going to hit this stream real time and we can interact, share our, our screen. Okay, so I'm going to choose my screen and... Okay, I understand you are going to choose your screen. Do you want to share it with me? Uh, yeah, can you see my screen now? Yes, I can see your screen now. All right, so uh, I was wondering if you can help me out with some uh, great color grading in DaVinci Resolve. Okay, you would like help with color grading in DaVinci Resolve. I can help you with that. Cool. So I'm opening the software right now. As soon as it opens, we start, okay? Cool. So you are opening the software now and we can start once it's open. Okay. So we're going to use, uh, so we're going to do a quick new project and we're just going to import some media. Something went wrong. All right. Uh, are you there, Gemini? Yes, I'm here. How can I help you? Okay, so we have already opened uh, DaVinci Resolve. We imported our clip, and now uh, I'm going to. I'm going to start with a color correction, so as soon as I ask you the question, be ready, okay? Okay. I understand that you have DaVinci Resolve open, you've imported a clip, and you will start with color correction. You will ask me a question when you are ready. I'm ready for your question. Cool. Okay. It seems that you just created a new timeline in DaVinci Resolve. Is that correct? Yes, I did. Uh, timeline and now I'm in the color tab so we can start doing our color correction for this particular clip I would like to get a more balanced look uh, what, what would you recommend to feel to be the first uh, step okay you are in the color tab now and want a more balanced look for the clip and you are asking me what the first step should be I recommend that you start by adjusting the lift gamma and gain wheels to get the overall brightness and contrast in the right place first. This will give you a better foundation to work from for the rest of the corrections. Would you like to proceed with that? Sure, let's go with that. Okay, let me know if you have any other questions or if you want further guidance as you make those adjustments. So should I uh, start doing it in this note? Yes, you can start adjusting the lift, gamma, and gain wheels within that node that you've selected. That is where your color correction adjustments will be applied. Okay, but is this like the professional way to do it? Wouldn't you like change first the color space transform? While color space transforms are an important part of color grading, adjusting the lift, gamma, and gain is usually done before that. It's common to start with the primary color wheels to get a balanced image. Then you would adjust other parameters like color space transform. So to answer your question, this is a professional way to approach the process, yes. Do you want to proceed? Uh, I'm sorry, but like, uh, I would prefer to do it in another node. Okay. I understand you would prefer to make adjustments in another node. Is there anything else you'd like to know or do with the color grading of this clip at this time? Yeah. Let's just start with the, um, adjustments that you said before. Where, where should I start? All right. I'm just going to adjust the gamma on the curves. Is that okay? Sure. You are about to adjust the gamma on the curves. Is there anything else I can help you with today? Yeah, uh, if uh, judging by the curve that you're seeing right now, what should, should I do? Okay, judging by the curve you're seeing right now, you're asking what you should do next. Could you clarify what you're hoping to achieve by adjusting the curve? I would like to uh, get some highlights more uh, present and the cont and contrasty in the image. I want some contrast in the image as well. You want to make the highlights more present and increase the contrast in the image. A good starting point would be to use the curves tool to target those adjustments. 
Would you like me to elaborate on using the curves tool for these specific purposes? Yes, please. Okay, let's talk about using the curves tool. To increase highlights, you can pull the upper portion of the curve upwards. To increase the contrast, you could create an S-curve by pulling the upper middle of the curve upwards while simultaneously pulling the lower middle portion of the curve downwards. Would you like to know anything more? Mm, I'm just going to start with that. Okay, it looks like you're going to start adjusting the curve. Would you like any additional help, or should I just stay quiet while you work? Yes, the adjustments you made to the curve are increasing the contrast and highlight. Do you like the way the image is looking now? Yeah, I like it better. Um, I, I would say it's a bit on the yellow side. Using the curve, how can we just um, make it a little bit more neutral? Okay, you want to use the curve to make the image a little more neutral, since you think it has a bit of a yellow tint. To address this, you can adjust the individual color curves. Would you like me to walk you through that process? Uh, yes, please. Okay, to reduce the yellow tint, you should focus on the blue curve, since blue is the opposite of yellow. Try pulling down the blue curve, especially in the highlights, to counteract the yellow cast. Would you like more guidance as you make these adjustments? Uh, no, let's just wait until uh, I have a, a proper result. Understood. I'll wait while you work on adjusting the blue curve until you have the proper result. Feel free to ask if you need any additional help. Do you see that uh, tint that I have now? It's better? Yes. The blue adjustment has helped reduce the yellow tint. The image looks more neutral now. Okay. Uh, what would you recommend now to make it even more neutral? Now that the image is closer to neutral, I would suggest slightly adjusting the color wheels to fine tune the colors to your liking. Would you like some guidance on using the color wheels? Yes, please. Okay. The color wheels allow you to adjust the overall color balance of your image. The lift wheel affects the shadows, the gamma wheel affects the midtones, and the gain wheel affects the highlights. By moving the crosshairs in each color wheel, you can introduce or remove a specific color from each respective tonal range. Would you like a specific recommendation for adjustments? Yes, please. Start with the lift. Okay, since the shadows might still have a slight yellow cast, try moving the crosshairs on the lift wheel a bit towards the blue side. How does that look to you? Yeah, it's a bit more neutral. Great. Now that you've adjusted the lift, do you want to continue tweaking the color using the gamma and gain wheels? Or are you happy with the current result? No, I would like to do more uh, work on the gamma and gain wheels because I think that the red jacket, it, it's a bit yellowish. Um, and also, I think now that the skin looks a bit pale, so I would like to fix that. Okay, you want to adjust the gamma and gain wheels to address the yellowish cast on the jacket and the pale skin tones. Since the jacket is yellowish, try moving the gamma wheel a bit towards blue. For the skin tone being pale, try moving the gain wheel a bit towards red to add warmth. What do you think of these adjustments? Alright, let me, let me work on it and I will be back to you. Okay, I will wait while you work on the gamma and gain wheels. Let me know when you're ready. Okay, um, so I, I'm pretty happy with the result, but like I think the red is a bit yellowish and I would like to fix that. Okay, are you thinking about using the color wheels or curves to make that adjustment? Yeah, I was thinking about using the curves in this uh, section in where it says hue versus hue. I think that would be like the best um, way to go or do you have any other idea? Okay, you're thinking of using the hue versus hue curves to adjust the red. It's a common way to adjust a specific color range. Do you have a specific adjustment in mind for the red, like pushing it more towards magenta? Uh, what, do, what do you suggest? I mean, I, was, that's, I, I see this, this spike here because this represents the red, but, uh, and I see that it's 
it's shutting to the high uh so so i would just like um try to work with that do you think that's a good option or what do you recommend okay i understand that you are seeing the red spike on the hue versus hue curve and that the red might be skewed towards the yellow it makes sense to try and adjust that area of the curve to make the red more magenta as we discussed earlier you could try pulling down on the red point and pushing it slightly to the left which will shift the color towards a more magenta color. Do you think you'd like to try that? Yeah, that's that's the first thing I'm gonna do. Great, let me know how it looks after you make the adjustment. I don't know, I'm not so convinced about it. It's maybe another tool, My, maybe another tab in this tool. It sounds like you're not completely satisfied with the result of the first adjustment. Would you like to explore a different tool or tab to get closer to the look you want? Yes, please. Okay, do you want to try the color wheels or do you have another tab in mind? Let's go with the color wheels. Okay, let's switch to the color wheels. Would you like to adjust the lift, gamma, or gain to address the red? Uh, I th I'm thinking a, a gamma, maybe? I'm not sure, that is this why I'm asking you. Got it. So you're thinking of adjusting the gamma, but you're not entirely sure if that's the right approach, which is why you're asking for guidance. Is that correct? Yes, yes. Okay, adjusting the gamma could help with the overall color balance. Would you like to try making a small adjustment to see how it affects the red, or would you prefer to explore a different approach? Yeah, um, uh, what do you suggest that I should do in the, in the gamma wheel? Okay, since the red appears a bit yellowish, you could try slightly pulling the gamma wheel toward the blue to add some blue to the midtones, which might help to counteract the yellow. Would you like to try that? Yes, I am already trying. Okay, great. Let me know how it looks after that adjustment. I like it, but I think the, um, I think it'll, it'll look, it's going more to the purple. Okay, so you like it, but you think the red is now skewing more towards purple. Is that right? Yes. Okay, so it's looking more purple now. Do you want to try adjusting the gamma wheel again to move the color back towards red? Or would you like to try a different approach? I am shifting it a little bit and I'm, I'm finding better results. What do you think about the, the, what you're seeing on the screen now? It sounds like you're making progress. I see that the red looks richer and less purple than before. Are you happy with the current result? There was a, a few moments where the uh, software went wrong and like I kept uh, going through this message. I think, I think it was like three times, uh, maybe because uh, it, I, recorded more than 10 minutes because right now it's it has that limitation but overall i think it does well a well job uh, of uh, going to the logics of color correction i think it's a very uh, it's a very powerful tool if you want to start learning something i really don't think that tutorials are dead now because uh, there is something uh, unique about when you're doing like a special workflow, like creativity of the human uh, still is uh, better than AI. A AI, it, it's just like, it needs a lot of direction. And that's, I, I, that's why I think uh, like tutorials are not going away, at least like for now. Um, but I don't know, like, uh, tell me what you think in the comments and I hope you liked this video. If you uh, are not subscribed, subscribe and we we'll see you in the next one. Bye.